it feels wrong to not be able to spin around in a chair for this intro since we're starting a new show. I, I, I'm so used to spinning around in a chair now. It's like become my thing. But this, this is a stationary chair. So you're just going to have to pretend that I spun around to greet you. Oh, we can try something new. Hold on. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie and today we are diving on into Legend of Korra. I'll just, I'll be, I'll be down there. So if you need me, let me know. Hi. Okay. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, especially you. Yes, you. Hello, you, 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 you. Hello. Thank you so much to all of my subscribers who stick around and who watch these movies and shows with me on a regular basis. I really appreciate having y'all here and I love reading your fun facts in the comments down below. And welcome if you're new. Hey, hi, how are you? If you like my videos and you keep watching them over and over again, but you're not subscribed, maybe consider clicking that little red button down below. We're getting pretty close to 400K over here. I would love to hit that this year. I think that would be really fun. So um, so yeah, may maybe consider doing that. No worries if you don't want to, but I would really appreciate it. Today we are diving on into a show that a lot of people have been asking for since I started watching Avatar The Last Airbender, and that is Legend of Korra. We're getting back on into the Avatar world, the Avatar universe with this show, and I'm excited. I've heard that this show maybe isn't as strong or not necessarily as amazing as Avatar The Last Airbender, but I, I have heard that some people really do like it. It seems like the reviews are fairly mixed on this show. I feel like for every two people that rave about it and tell me they like it and they want me to watch it, I get one person who says it's met. So I get to decide for myself now. We'll see how it goes. I'm going into this one pretty open-minded. I, I don't know anything about it. I don't know if it takes place after the time of Aang or before the time of Aang. I don't, I have no idea what time we're in. I have no idea about any of the characters. I'm hoping that she isn't like an avatar figure. I'm hoping she's just like a cool person that we're following the story of because I don't necessarily know if I want like another avatar story because we just got such a perfect one with Avatar The Last Airbender. It was just such a beautiful story. So I think it'd be really cool to see a different story told. I, I don't know. I'm really just hypothesizing about what this story could be about. I could just read the log line. Should I read the log line? Should I? I usually avoid doing that for shows, but it's right here and I feel dumb not doing it. So I'm going to I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it this time. Now that Avatar core. OK, she's an avatar. OK, so that already out the window, she's an avatar. <laughs> Can bend water, earth and fire, anxious to start airbender training. Okay, so she's she's done everything but air. That's why the book is air. But trouble in the city interrupts her plans. Okay, well, it's another Avatar story, except we're starting off further into her training. So that didn't really reveal what timeline we're in, though. So I still don't know if it's before or after the time of Aang. So we'll see. I kind of, I think I would like to see after, just because that's not really something we've heard about. You know, we've heard a lot about the past and the time leading up to the war during Aang's time because he was like born 100 years before it and... We've, we've seen glimpses of that, so I would like it if this was in the future. But these are just my hypotheses and my guesses and, and things that I think I would like for the show. All in all, I'm just excited to go along for the ride and see what it has in store without really any expectation. I will quickly mention that for those of y'all that love Legend of Korra or love the Avatar world in general, and you want to catch more of my reactions to these episodes, I would definitely consider checking out my Patreon listed down below. When I watch episodes and series over here, I do do get way further ahead over on the Patreon page. They get episode reactions released a lot more in real time, whereas YouTube, it's a lot more delayed to be edited. And also we just have such a backlog of content right now. Like I am so much farther behind on YouTube than I am on my Patreon. So if you ever want to see what videos are going to be coming next, you want to have say to vote in polls over there and decide what I watch next or just watch episodes along with me, um, that would be a good thing to check out. But without any further ado, I think it's finally time to hop on into this show. So if y'all are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the legend of Korra. Earth. Oh, it's the same. Holy 
So is that her? Is that Korra? It looks Boy, like it. Her. My father, Avatar Aang, my father. told me the story of how he and his friends heroically oh. ended the Hundred Year War. The Hundred Year War. Zuko! A society where benders and non benders from all over the world could live and thrive together in peace mm. and harmony. It's all about to get ruined again, huh? But sadly, his time in this world came to an end. Yeah. Okay, so this is in the future. Great. It's what I was hoping for. The music is already, oh, so good. So the na it's narrated by Aang's son. So, okay, so we got to meet Aang's son, huh? Are we going to meet the narrator? We have investigated many claims both here and in the Northern Tribe. They, they know it has to be a Water Tribe member, huh? Please come in here. She just bent Earth. I'm the Avatar! You gotta deal uh. with it! <laughs> She's already bending Earth and fire? Oh my God, yeah, okay. Prodigy, much. Why does she have to do everything already? So she's always been good at the first three, but air is the one she hasn't gotten. <laughs> what makes you so sure? Well, <laughs> She's crazy. <laughs> She's strong. She lacks restraint. She lacks discipline and control. She's like a firecracker. Ever since you were a little girl, you've excelled at the physical side of bending, but completely ignored the spiritual side. Ah. But that's why I should start training with Tenzin immediately. He's Mr. Spiritual. Do you believe she's ready, Master Katara? Yes. That's Katara? Oh, right, the hair loopies. Ah! That's Katara! Holy f Oh my god. Right, the necklace. Holy f I should have really put it together Yaga. quicker. You should have seen it. She got a big dog! We have to have big animal mascots. It's a requirement of each avatar to have a big animal mascot, huh? Oh, it's not Appa, right? How long did flying bison live? Ooh, yes, Iki. As I've been Is it you Appa? Is that Aang's son, the narrator? He's got the arrow. Hello, mother. Oh my god, there's more airbenders. Oh my god. He's he looks a lot like Aang. He moves exactly like Aang. Emma, let me help you. <laughs> Careful now. She's having another one. Are you sure you want another one? I see another airbender in your future. She... All I want is one child like me. What are you? A nice non Oh, a non-bender. Last win in my face every 5 seconds. I just want a non-bender. <laughs> All of her children are so talented. She's like, I just want a kid that's normal. <laughs> I have a responsibility to Republic City. But you also have a responsibility to teach me. Believe me, I'd be happy to find another airbending master. But there are I'm none. The only one. Right. <laughs> there are none. If you can't stay here, then I'll go back to Republic City with you. It's perfect. <sighs> Absolutely not. The city is far too dangerous. Mm, they want to protect her. They're overprotective of the Avatar. I know this is difficult to accept but it's not the right time for you to come to the city. Whatever. Oh, she, she, she she's impatient. <laughs> I mean, I get it, to be fair, she's spent years of her waiting to learn airbending. Oh, is she gonna do it anyway? What are you gonna do, run across water? Oh, she hits a ride on a boat. Man, there's stowaways on this ship. She's a stowaway with a giant polar bear. Thanks for the ride. <laughs> Are you tired of living under the tyranny of benders? Of benders? Non-benders are having a revolt. The city have forced non-benders to live as lower class citizens. Really, have they? Let me guess, you're a bender. Yeah, I am. And I bet you just love to knock me off this platform with some water bending, huh? I'm seriously thinking about it. Cora, you just got here, simmer down. You're really just- <laughs> What? I'm not oppressing anyone. You're, you're oppressing yourself. That didn't even make sense. Cora, you don't know what's going on in the city. You're just immediately starting. You should get moving, young lady. It isn't safe. Uh-oh. Why? Who are, who's that? Mr. Chung, please tell me that you have my money. The gangsters. Can't guarantee I can protect your fine establishment. Oh, he was the guy on the poster, I'm pretty sure. Is he one of the oppressors? Take one of my phonographs. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's so sad. Let me explain a couple things. You're in triple threat triad territory. Triple threat triad. So I guess they can all earthbend, waterbend, firebend. Ah! 
what just happened? They're all gonna know she's the Avatar. She's really just making it obvious. <gasps> well, now we're just destroying that nice clock shop. <laughs> got an idea about who I am now, chumps? She's she she's got a bit of an ego. I mean, I like that she sticks up for the downtrodden, but Police! Freeze where you are. Of course, now they're gonna arrest her. Cool, metal benders. Metal benders. Wow. Wait, so if you're the avatar, you only have to master four. You don't have to master metal too. But they're a right. I guess. Right, we did see that Toph could bend metal, so really good earthbenders can bend metal. So shouldn't they be able to bend You're under arrest earth too? too? <gasps> yeah, of course. <laughs> Cora, you already starting so much trouble. Now you've assaulted the police. Yep. Yep, there you go. She deserves it. <laughs> Multiple counts of destruction of private and city property. Who is this? Why do I feel like... Was that statue of Toph? I just wonder if it's become a thing to bend metal because of her. Then I want to talk to whoever's in charge. You're talking to her. You're doing really well so far, Cora. Lin Beifong? You're Toph's daughter. What else? Oh, yeah, it was a statue of Toph. You can't just waltz in here and dole out vigilante justice like you own the place. I mean, that is what... Your mom did, but that's fine. She did it a lot more brazenly. Oh, hi, Tenzin. Hi. Get her out of my city. Always a pleasure, Lynn. Let's go, Cora. Like, Cora, like, dude, Cora, you can't just dish that back. She's so cocky for somebody who should be more humble, honestly. She really needs to be humbled. It's kind of funny seeing a cop that's related to Toph, though, be like, I'm watching you. I have done my best to guide Republic City towards the dream my father had for it. But you are right. I thought I should put off your training in order to uphold his legacy. But you are his legacy. And she honestly needs help. <gasps> Republic City needs its avatar once again. Lynn's not going to be happy about that. Oh, we're doing a big press conference now. I look forward to serving you. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you, Republic. The gang? Is it the gang listening? So, oh. the Avatar has arrived early. It looks like we'll have to. Oh, no, he was the guy on the poster. He was the guy on the poster. I wonder if he's the head of the anti-bending revolution then? I don't know. It's I, I do like this spin on the non-benders feeling oppressed, and that's where the revolution is coming from, because I think that that actually makes a lot of sense. Cora's kind of annoying right now, I will say. She's, <laughs> she needs to be humbled. So my mother informed me that you've never been able to airbend before. Yeah, but I don't know why. We put her in the outfit. She has to be in the outfit in order to do it. Airbending is all about spiral movements. When you meet resistance, you must be able to switch direction. Mm, you gotta have nimble feet like a ballerina. Cora's not gonna be good at that. Oh my gosh. She's learned nothing. <laughs> She's going right back at it with the same determination. What is wrong with me? Airbend! Ma'am, it's not like any of the other things you're doing. Did you not listen to a single thing he said? She's with me. Yeah, I'm with him. Can we finally make some friends? Because, like, we really need some friends to make Cora more enjoyable to watch. <laughs> She's already, like, annoying. Psst. Introducing the Fire Ferrets! They're the Fire Ferrets? That's their name? The rookie ferrets came from out of nowhere and have made it further than anyone expected this They're year. rookies. Wow. So do they all have to bend with, like, do teams have to bend with the same elements? No, they don't. Ooh. He's good. Guess not. Marco's over the line. Oh, no. The Tigerdillos get the green light and advance into ferret. Oh, that's how it works. Asuk stumbles, and now he tumbles right into his... Oh, no. If they don't want to... go oh, too late. It's all up to Mako. It's all up to Mako now. Mm -hmm. He's bobbing and weaving. He's good. He's really good. Don't worry. He's dancing on the edge of the ring. See? Cora's got to learn from him. He's dancing. They've got nothing left in the tank, and Mako is on the offensive. Yep, he tired him out. It's a knockout! What a wing dinger of a hat trick! A wing dinger of a hat trick, folks! That's a fun that's a fun line to say. I've been immersed in bending my entire life, but I never learned how to move like that. Mm-hmm. That's what you need to do, the dancing. Won't be a problem. 
I'm actually an earthbender. I'm sorry, no, no, I didn't mean to assume. Cause I, you know, I was just figuring with your water tribe get up that you are a water tribe <laughs> gal. No, you're right. I'm a waterbender and a firebender. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm very confused right now. He missed the news. You're the avatar and I'm an idiot. Both are true. <laughs> but you're an avatar and I'm an idiot. Thank God we have some some fresh I feel like these two characters are providing fresh air for me. I needed someone besides Korra. It's the same thing with Avatar the Last Airbender, though. You needed more than just Aang. Aang would have driven me crazy if it was just him. We just it was always three from the beginning. Wow! Nice adjustment! You're a natural at this. Not bad. What's it take to impress this guy? What? I said not bad. He said not bad. That was a compliment. He's the one you need to learn from. Honestly, he's the one you really need to learn from. The way he was dancing. It's exactly what Tenzin was trying to teach her. Well, that's not very... That's not good. You just destroyed their playground. Maybe the reason I haven't learned airbending yet is because you're a terrible teacher. Jeez. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're a terrible teacher, Daddy. Oh, oh, God. Ah! He's acting like Coro. Oh, at least his daughters are sweet. They're like, no, you're not. <laughs> Dear, the best thing you can do right now is to give Cora some space. You must promise me that your teenage years won't be like this. Oh, it, they will. It will be. I will make no such promises. Smart girl. She's a smart girl. <laughs> You must promise me. No, can't do that. Sorry, Dad. You guys look like you lost already. We might as well have. Mm. This looks a no good. No I had a feeling she was going to step in for the match. Although I feel like it's cheating. You shouldn't have the Avatar compete with you. Time's up. You in or out? We're in. We are? Yes. Hey, I didn't agree to this. You can thank me later. This girl is crazy. She is. I like Mako. <laughs> Fire fair at waterbender penalty. Move back one zone. You don't know the rules. You're only allowed to knock players off the back of the ring, not over the sides. Oh. Just dodge. That's all you have to do, babe. My god. Well, I'm not so sure this replacement player knows what she's doing. No, she doesn't. Uh, foul! Over the line! I will say this is good for her, though. You gotta be kidding me she's the avatar folks playing in a pro trending match can you believe that i'll get her myself i would be pretty mad if i was tenzin not gonna lie mm. <sighs> he got here so fast once again you have flagrantly disobeyed my orders mm -hmm. let's go no she's already in it now being the avatar isn't all about fighting cora when will you learn that I have a match to go finish. She got a lot of growth to do. Looks like the Avatar's pro betting debut is going to be cut short. She's been pushed back to zone three and the water is coming. This is good, the dancing. She's learning. It's important. Yep, there you go, finally. All of a sudden, the platypus bear strikes her only striking air. Thank you. Finally, I knew this was coming. Knockout! Woohoo! The fire He's cheering. <laughs> <laughs> They're all watching him. <laughs> Pro bending turned out to be the perfect teaching tool for you. I'll see you tomorrow for airbending practice, bright and early. You should help fix the thing you destroyed. And by the way, I kind of permanently joined the fire ferrets and we're playing in the tournament in a couple of weeks. You should be fixing the thing you broke that the kids are fixing for you right now. But okay, one step at a time. <laughs> I do remember being like mildly annoyed by Aang too when we first met him, so... It's a recurring theme for me to be mildly annoyed by the Avatar. <laughs> Until later, I think. How are we going to come up with the money? Oh, oh, I got it. I got it. I've been training Pabu to do circus tricks. Now people would pay good money to see that. Pabu's so cute. Come on, come on. He's trying. Pabu the fantastic fire ferret as he crosses the ladder of peril. He's so cute. Like, this is like, the, they're trying to make Sokka 2.0. Stick the landing. Oh, that was great. No one paid for it, though. Oh, somebody did. Somebody paid. 29999 to go. Oh, no, it's the gangsters. Hey, bowl in. Or no, it's not. Why did I think it was? I thought it was the same car. Shady Shin. Shady Shin. Mako told me to stay away from the triple threats. <sighs> Your brother ain't the boss of you. It's just a little security work. His name is Shady Shin. Good, light on your feet. She 
she's getting better. Ooh, he's cute. Oh, Mako came. Does he drive you crazy in a bad way? Or does he drive you crazy like you like him? Oh my god. Ah! Oh! <laughs> she, <laughs> she yeeted them into the air. I guess it doesn't matter since it's like an air bend, but oh my god, she just yeeted them. <laughs> that was so funny. Your best friend is a polar bear dog. Mm -hmm. Somehow that makes perfect sense. I'll take that as a compliment, city boy. It's like Bolin is like the Sokka 2.0. And Mako is like Zuko 2.0 in terms of like their attitudes and the way they carry themselves. And then what? Why'd he leave? Shady Shin showed up and flashed some serious cash. These kids are in the know. Sounds like there's a turf war brewing and Bolin's about to get caught right in the middle of it. Oh no. He got wooed with the money. I beat up some of those yahoos when I got into town. Why would Bolin- Yeah, I'm sure they don't like her. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa, Naga. Is that Pabu? Hey. That's Pabu. No, no. Oh, Naga, don't try to eat. Oh my God, don't eat it. We gotta hurry. Oh my God. Momo 2.0, Appa 2.0. We better be cautious. Bolin, you in here? We gotta be cautious. Bolin, just busted down the door. Oh no, they tied him up, oh no. I mean, the earth bending is a real awesome skill to have, but he's too good of a motorcycle driver. Maybe you should just air bend to stop the truck. Like, put a wall in front of the truck. Oh my god. Oh, they're good. And they're non benders, huh? They're, are they non benders? Did they just paralyze her the way that what's her name used to? The little jumpy yoga girl? Did they just paralyze her? Yeah, your acupuncture tricks don't work on a polar bear. <laughs> that was so cute. Calm down. It'll wear off. Those guys were chi blockers. Chi blockers. They're Mon's henchmen. Oh. That anti-bending guy with the mask? Yeah. I'm happy we're seeing, like, chi blockers again, like, because I completely forgot that that was a thing that some people could do. So why is Bolin running around with a triple threat triad anyway? Well, we, we used to do some work for them back in the day. What? Are you some kind of criminal? No. You don't know what you're talking about. Cora, they were kids without parents. Yeah, they had to survive. Exactly. She has a lot to learn. She's very naive from being raised all alone in the South Pole with like nobody but grown ups around her and being taken care of. Equality now! Equality now! We want equality now! Stop! I knew they were going to freak out about that. I knew they were gonna freak out about the fact that they were sleeping on each other's shoulders. You know, it's funny, I know we're setting up like this whole like romance between these two, but honestly, I got like lesbian vibes from Cora. Like I was ready, I was ready for her to be a lesbian, but I guess she's just a tough chick. Your savior, Emma! Your savior. It's a little cult. Man, it would be nerve wracking being the avatar in here. Cause she's like famous and these people would be ready to kill her. The only thing bending has brought to the world is suffering. It has been the cause of every war in every era. I mean, maybe it has been the cause of every war in every era. I would be pretty pissed if I was a non-bender, just getting stepped on all the time. That is why the spirits have chosen me to usher in a new era of balance. Oh. They have granted me a power. Oh, have they? What is the power? The power to take a person's bending away. Permanently. Permanently? Now for a demonstration. Uh-oh. Oh, that's why they needed benders. Are we gonna take Bolin's bending away? Zolt has amassed a fortune by extorting and abusing- Bolin didn't do anything wrong, though! He's just a, f a goofy guy with a red panda. Oh my God, he really has been given a gift. It's like what, uh, isn't that? What did you do to me? Your firebending is gone forever. Isn't this what like Aang was capable of doing? He did that to Ozai. So did the spirits really give him this gift? Cause like, I thought that only the avatar could do this. <laughs> Oh, Shady got, Shady, oh, he really did think he was bringing him in for a job. <sighs> Owen, you'll be fine, brother. It's gonna be okay. He didn't do anything wrong though, this is up. Oh, she's gotta bend it. Quick, bend it, bend it, bend it. 
Oh, does he eat him? Yes, Mako! I love you! <laughs> Let's go, quick! The Avatar, that's her! Oh no. Let her go. She's the perfect messenger to tell the city of my power. Oh no. The thing is like, I, you know, he's an extremist and it's not good. Like what he wants to do is also really oppressive and an extreme tactic, but I empathize with why non-benders are feeling oppressed and why they'd be frustrated. I don't know how Amon has achieved this power. He said the spirits gave it to him. This means the revolution is more dangerous than ever. No bender is safe. Yeah. That's a really nice twist. I really do like that. Uh-oh. Is this a nightmare or this has to be a nightmare, I'm sure. Oh. We need to create a task force whose sole mission is to find Amon and bring him to justice. Absolutely not. A move that aggressive would only further divide benders and non-benders. He's right. Vote for this task force and I will stop Amon before it's too late. Always working in extremes, you dumb politicians. Good evening, my fellow equalists. This is your leader. She really should just be focusing on airbending, but that wouldn't make an interesting story. Proving once again that the bending oppressors of this city will stop at nothing. Exactly. Furthering the divide. Oh. I'm so sorry, I didn't see you. How could you not see me? I mean, I was just, uh... Oh, she's beautiful, so now we're, now, now he's gonna apologize. Don't worry, I'm fine. My brother hits me harder than that every day in practice. Wait, is this Bolin? Why does he look different to me? You're Mako, right? Mako, oh, Mako, this is Mako? Why didn't I recognize him? He looked different to me. Oh my God, it's been a little while since I've watched an episode. How about I treat you to dinner? Tomorrow night, eight o'clock, Kwong's Cuisine. I don't have any clothes nice enough for a place that classy. I'll take care of that. She's gonna dress him up too? So, it's a date? What's going on here? I, I'm suspicious. I'm suspicious. Is she a plant in a mon's group? Yeah, she's a plant, huh? There ain't no way. I mean, he's attractive. It's not like he couldn't get a girl that pretty. I just, that was too easy. I'm not interrupting, am I? Literally showed up at his home. This is my home, <laughs> Tarek. Yeah. What the f So rude. I think you're the first authority figure in the city who's happy I'm here. Republic City is much better off now that you've arrived. Enough with the flattery, Tom. I know, my god, get to the f point. I am assembling a task force that will strike at the heart of the revolution, and I want you to join me. Really? I need someone who will help me attack Amon directly. Someone who is fearless in the face of danger. She's not fearless right now. I came to Republic City to finish my avatar training with Tenzin. Right now, I just need to focus on that. Very well. But I'm not giving up on you just yet. Oh, goody. You'll be hearing from me soon. Oh, goody. I'm sure she'll say yes at some point. Tell me, what's the problem? <sighs> we don't have the cash to ante up for the championship. Oh, yeah, the cash. Oh, she's got the cash. Sure, she's got the cash. Pardon me, Miss Sato. Your main course. Miss Sato? You wouldn't happen to be related to Hiroshi Sato. Creator of the Sato mobile? Yeah. Kind of makes sense. Get out of town. I'm serious. You want to meet him? Maybe she's not a plant. Maybe I need to relax. She's just so nice. Like, I don't, I mean, I guess she did almost kill him with her motorcycles. <laughs> Probably feels bad, but. You know, it's okay to be scared. The whole city is frightened by what's been going on. The important thing is to talk about our fears. Because if we don't, they can throw us out of balance. Mm-hmm, and you can never learn how to airbend if you bottle in that up. Avatar Korra, I have something for you. Uh-oh. It doesn't matter how many gifts Tarlock sends, <laughs> I'm not joining his town. Oh, don't kick the messenger. Tarlock is throwing a gala in your honor. The councilman humbly requests your attendance. <laughs> Poor messenger. If you'll excuse us, the city awaits its hero. Milo, no, that is not a toilet! Why did you bring the kids? 
to introduce Republic City's most famous industrialist, Hiroshi Sato. Oh, something's going on here. What's going on? We're seeing so much of Sato. Mr. Sato agreed to sponsor our team. We're back in the tournament. <laughs> Isn't that great? Yeah, terrific. She's really, she's really in her head. She's like not fun to be around right now. She didn't even say thank you to Sato. You've done absolutely nothing to deserve this. Wow, wonderful. She's also a buzzkill. My God, there are there are a lot of buzzkills at this party right now. I understand it's like her chi is blocked and she's all in her head and scared and stuff. So she wouldn't be excited about the bending championships. Be so kind. They just have a couple questions. Oh God. Then why have you refused to join Tarlok's task force? As the Avatar, shouldn't you be going after Amon? You promised to serve this city. Aren't you going back on that promise now? They're manipulating you. Are you afraid of Amon? I'm not afraid of anybody! Oh, Korra. If he needs me, then I'll join Tarlok's task force and help This is exactly what he wanted. It's exactly what he wanted. She gotta learn. It's season one, you know? She got a lot of growth to go through. Amon, I challenge you to a duel. Just the two of us, tonight at midnight on Avatar Aang Memorial Island. Why are we bringing the fight to where your hosts live? I forgot to ask, why didn't you accept the new silk scarf I bought for you last week? I get, oh, we're to, thank you, please tell me why. It's from your parents, right? This scarf was my father's. Yeah. And it's all I have left of him. I'm so sorry. I lost my mother when I was very young. Maybe she's not that bad. Maybe she's not a plant. I don't know why I thought she was a plant. I just couldn't trust this at all. <laughs> I feel so safe with you. We just met each other. This is going very fast. Don't fall asleep, babe. Who's scared now? Now oh, he's about to show up now. Oh my God. It's quiet. Too quiet. That's cheating. Oh, they just blocked her chi, it's over. Although it would be the simplest thing for me to take away your bending right now. Uh-huh. I won't. Why? You'd only become a martyr. Oh, see, he's smart. And I will destroy you. Of course. What was that flash of Avatar Aang. Is Aang coming to her in spirit in the spirit world to consult with her and teach her? I've been scared this whole time. I I've never felt like this before, and, and I don't know what to do. <laughs> Admitting your fears is the first and most difficult step in overcoming them. That was sweet. Of course you'd be scared. Like, any everyone should be scared. <laughs> I'm glad she's not, like, drawing out the tough act too much longer, because I'm ready for her to, like, grow emotionally, you know? So this is a natural next step in that progression and I'm happy to see it.